how you animate anything in Cinema 4D. You animate like this. For example, we have this sphere. Okay. And uh, you put it here. And you just come here and collapse it. So now you have coordinates. Come to the coordinates and you can see now I can move in X. I can move in Y and I can move in Z and also I can scale and I can rotate in any direction so now in order to animate you have to this is your timeline so animation is about timeline motion and movement so for example you come to the for example we want this to animate from this position to up and down so what we'll do is we come here and add a keyframe in our y-axis how you add keyframe come to this area and click this gray button so once you click click this gray button uh, it becomes the red so it means it added a keyframe here and if you go to the, your time and you can see this blue area I can click and drag so that it will become bigger your timeline will become zoom in so you can see this some this button is created on this particular frame because we click on zero so it creates there so what we'll do now is we come here and let's suppose come to the 15 and uh, we move it in y direction so now click here again and come back to coordinate before moving your timeline again be careful about this thing before moving your timeline you have you can see now this button becomes yellow and it is empty from inside Be it is showing that there is some movement on this object which is not still recorded on the timeline so what we have to do is we have to click this button again so now you can see instantly it creates keyframe here this is called keyframe so now our object is animating between these two keyframes so this is our first position which is on ground and then we click play it goes to the second position which is above the ground now we want this to come back to our original position so there are two ways one is you come here record this value You record this value copy and uh, you come here and paste it here and click again so now it is recorded here see if you can see now it goes up and it comes back to its original position now from here if you want to repeat this position okay the other way other way to copy the keyframe is you let's suppose you want to copy this one you click select this one and press control and click and drag so now you can repeat the same keyframe so now it's like a bouncing ball so for example we want to repeat this one click and drag here and we want to repeat this one again and then we want to repeat this one again Con control and drag so now it's like a ball moving ball up and down but uh, why it is stopping because I want this and this to be same so what we'll do is we let's suppose add 115 okay or 105 is fine and we select the stop one and this one so now oh no see it's because all are same so we want this to be here what is this happening okay totally 
this one our same and then this so we bring this one to here go up So 90 is fine so now we come here and see it's like a bouncing ball but it is not giving a feel of a bouncing ball because there is some the some adjustments are required in this animation how you can f adjust that animations is you have to select this one and right click and come to the show f curves okay all kinds of animations are controlled through here so if you want to become an animator you must get to know this window and you need to understand some very basic concepts so I will just brief you quickly some of the key elements so for example here we are only animating in y axis so we will want to see only position y so what we'll do now you can see all of them here so what we'll do is we go come to the f curve and uh, we select deselect this option show all drag so now only this one is visible so now if you come here and see that uh, when our animation is going up so this is a curve which is like a mountain so what it is showing is it is showing that if you see this curve this curve is little bit sm smooth here and then smooth again so what it means it means is it's going slow up and then fast and then slow down when it reaches to the top and then again slowly comes down 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 and then fast and then slow down again and then slow up up and then fast and then slow up. so this is it's a repetition but in real life when you when you move when your ball goes up it goes with the full vel velocity on top so what we want is we want this keyframe to be straight so there are two ways to make it straight one is phys physically you make it this one like this or the other way is you come and click this button this button sorry this one with the zero okay so we and then we see this square ball goes up fast and then slows down and then slowly comes down slowly starts to comes down then it should bounce back bounce so it should bounce hard not slow so again so here you see you see that one is coming down and then the other one is going up so we want these both to be straight which is called linear so we have to make both of them linear and this is called smoothing or ease in so in in animation language we call this this one easing in and this is called linear so we come here and select this keyframe and click this button so now you can see instantly it becomes hard and it will bounce okay and similarly we have to repeat this procedure to on all these two keyframes so we select them and click this one so now if close this one and now you can see you can see the feel that when it hits the ground it is hitting it hard okay even you can make it more hard by right click show f curves by selecting top of them okay and then press control shift press shift and drag on your press control and shift and drag on your left side and then control and shift select again all of them then control and shift on your right side okay so now if you see here play again so now it looks more more uh, realistic bouncing ball okay so a little bit brief about a little bit I will explain you the camera so how you create the camera you come here and create let's suppose target camera now you can see in your viewport you can see there is camera here this is the target target means like where you want to look at and this is your camera so there are two ways to go to the camera view one is click this button 
okay the second one is go to camera use camera and you here you have the camera this is default camera and this is the one you created now okay so now you are looking at your camera view okay and then in camera you can again animate the camera for example to create make it more clear i need to create more objects around the viewport for example these two cubes enough uh, let's bring this other one little bit close this one also close to the camera okay and uh, yeah so how we will animate the camera same way we come here we want animate its position so we select the coordinate and select go to the first keyframe okay zero keyframe zero frame and select all these uh, gray button and become them red and go to the our top viewport and we select we go to the let's suppose uh, 90 and we come here and we rotate our camera let's suppose like this and we add keyframes here okay now if you see look at your camera make it bigger so now it's animating okay but see in your if you come see on your top viewport here the camera is going too much close to, to this object here so that our original object is vis uh, become invisible so you want to see always so we have to add another keyframe somewhat here in the middle so what we'll do is select our camera and on the top we come and move the camera back okay and select this one add keyframes now we come here okay so this is our very rough animation okay and then uh, you go to the object of the camera and then you have different properties for example focal length so these all are physically accurate uh, physical based camera properties so you can change your if you want a wide angle you can make it wide angle play again okay and if you want to make it like uh, super wide 15 millimeter or you want to make it bigger so it's bigger lens and you know you are more close to the object okay more option is focus distance details is if you want to get a depth of field this i will cover in the next session when we'll start the when we will start the whole project so the in next in our upcoming uh, tutorial we will animate a logo will select a logo from internet of some company like coke pepsi starbucks or whatever okay and then we will animate it uh, in a very simple way so in this way you will get an idea how to start a project from scratch and end it until the compositing and the final output so in this in this whole series what we will do is first we select the logo and then we will make it uh, we go to the illustrator and make it a vector and then we'll bring vector back to the cinema 4d and then we will extrude it give it color so that it will look 100 percent accurate as the original logo and then we will uh, animate it somehow using our different camera angles or some more graphs or some keyframe animation whatever will be the idea and then after that we will do lighting and materials and then we will do some camera moves and we will render it and after the rendering we will bring it to the after effects and do very very simple and basic compositing and that's it i hope you learned something today if you have any questions email me at ishaq.animator at gmail.com happy learning and keep practicing Good luck. Bye-bye.